What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review we're going to take a look at the Mythic Legions Varg action figure. He is a deluxe figure. Um, he is deluxe due to not his size but the wings um, and he's got a few extra accessories as well. Nothing too outside the realm of the norm for a regular character but he does have some uniqueness to him as far as you know the collared piece which is a separate piece. The wings, obviously, um, and the largeness of those wings, which I'll get to. It's kind of a gripe I have with the figure. Um, but he also comes with a short sword and two extra gripping hands, which are a little bit of a tighter gripper, gripping hand as opposed to these kind of open gripping hands. And then we also have a axe, the same axe that came with Bardrick, which, you know, when too many characters have the same thing it kind of takes away the uniqueness of when that character wields a specific thing um it's almost like they all shopped at the same store <laughs> weapons are us uh, via mythos uh but um yeah so varg here he's a mixed bag um i i want to say that um varg has some issues functionality issues um, now let me just get this off. He does come with these cool metal chains, which you can get them to clasp around his wrist or his feet. Um, and then he also comes with a, almost like a collared piece, which you can see the collared piece I put on there. And then you can kind of attach it to his neck. And then you've got this kind of handle right here. So maybe he's like a, a pet of some sort. Um, um, so that's pretty cool. You could have another character holding onto this, kind of like he's leashed. Um, the collared piece is a separate piece right here. I'm going to take all this stuff off, and we're going to break him down. Um, don't worry. The wings are entirely too loose on him, and not at these hinges. These hinges are usually pretty good, but it's more so where they peg into the back. They haven't quite perfected how this is engineered um he doesn't come with the extender adapter piece which those also fail as well um it is almost easier to peg them directly into the back but it, what happens is i don't know whether it's the peg that goes into the back for the wings or the back itself that stretches out the hole or it's the peg that is shrinking into the hole, but it causes an issue with these wings constantly popping off. Um, it's either the, the hole is stretching or the peg is shrinking. Um, but they are excessively easy to pop out. I almost want to say it's, and you can see, I think it's the hole is getting bigger on his back. And that's going to cause a serious issue where, to, where it gets to the point where you almost have to glue these wings in. And then you're not going to be able to articulate them the way you want. Um, I've noticed it with a lot of other figures. Gadriel has that problem, and she's a gorgeous looking figure. She's one of my favorite Mythic Legions. But I will say this as far as looking at the wings, they're very well painted, very well sculpted. You can see some veins going kind of throughout um, each individual wing. It looks really, really good. Um, the little spines right here going throughout the. the little like almost like i almost want to paint these like black kind of i might have to go back and do that i think it'll just pull out a little bit more but all the kind of like i guess bones that are going throughout here the hollowed bones for the wings um that's really well done i like the little holes for the wings too and there's a little bit of gray and black paint shading going throughout the center where the uh, stretches are for the wings like they're fully extended same thing on the back it doesn't stop there it's not like a, a hasbro thing where they only paint one side they paint both sides and that's what you kind of expect with a premium figure um, and it looks really good so really good job on the sculpt and detail it's just the functionality of the figures they gotta improve man um, the figure without the wings is perfectly fine and you don't have to have them with the wings. It's kind of like an optional thing, but it's like, if you have the wings as an option, why wouldn't you use them? 
I'm going to pop that head off and we're going to get his collar and piece off. And that's kind of how you want to pop that on. You don't have to have it around his collar. You can have it around his foot or you can have it around his hand, wherever you want to put it. There's his collar piece. It comes right off. And if you wanted to have him without the collar piece, this is kind of what he looks like in packaging when you first get him. So there's that. It looks really cool. And like I said, he is on that kind of dwarf-esque body. Um, let me just take that off as well. And we'll take this side off as well. And we'll take a better look at him. Um, so this is what he looks like kind of torn down without anything attached or anything like that. Um, I love this head sculpt. The head sculpt looks really good. This is a brand new head sculpt. Looks much more uh, feral as far as the, the head sculpt goes. It doesn't look as sophisticated as some of the other vampire creatures that we've seen. I would eventually like to get the ogre um, looking vampire. I think he looks really cool and would be a welcomed addition to my collection. But for now, I'm pretty much happy with um, this smaller, kind of more unique looking character. And that's what uh, I was really excited about with him. Was that he is on a smaller body for a, especially for a vampire figure, you know, makes him look unique and such. Uh, but I love the pink paint shading going throughout just not only the ears but underneath the eyes and around the eyes there's actually some purple paint shading going inside the eye same thing a little bit of gray for the inside of the nostril and then there's look at these teeth are just so well painted this is some of the best paint work i've seen it's so well done with the teeth and there's actually some black paint shading going over each tooth and then some purple for the gums. It's just like, whoa, there's a lot going on with this head. More than you think when you take a really close look at it. Um, the teeth look kind of like they're like dirty and like maybe he hasn't brushed his teeth in a while. You know, that that's the cool part. Black paint shading going throughout the top of the head and the forehead and such and throughout the brow. It's there's a lot going on in this head. I'm telling you, there's there's probably like five paint apps going on just on the head itself um some black paint shading going throughout the kind of whitish grayish body it almost like the black paint shading makes it kind of like a gray almost throughout his body but it's just a white painted body for the upper torso um you can see the pegs in the back or the peg holes excuse me in the back and then we've seen this armor before with wave two and wave one it's reused you can disassemble the body just by kind of, what I like to do is I call it the hula hoop. And it slowly just pops right off. I hula hoop it off. <laughs> um, you can also take that off and you're really breaking down the character now as far as the lower torso goes. Lower torso, we've seen this as well with some other um, dwarf type characters and smaller type characters. Um, the armor looks really good though. It's like a black with a, like almost like a gray metallic paint shading going throughout very well done and then the feet are the newly sculpted bare feet um, looks really good and these have like a sharp point to them too as far as the nails go so very well done as far as you know sculpt and paint like i said top notch with mythic legions you'll never hear me really complain about the sculpt or the paint it's just the functionality of some of these figures really have me or leave me wanting um, so that's really nice. Um, let's pop this head back off. We'll get them all geared up again. Um, also when popping off the head and popping on the head, try to be careful. Um, this ball peg has been known. These types of ball pegs have been known to break in the past. So just, just a little for, just a little warning. Um, and then we just pop that collared piece on just like so. And then actually we'll put his collar collar on his <laughs> double collar <laughs> there we go um once you do get this piece on you don't like i said you don't have to put it around the neck like i'm doing you can take that off you'll get better range of motion with that off of the neck so you'll be able to move the head around a little bit more your up and down will be a little bit better actually your up will be better so you can have him in a flight pose if you want him to but if you have the collar piece on it'll be a little bit more hindering as far as that's concerned uh, he can tilt his head as well. Um, 
His arms can go up really that far. They go down, full 360 rotation in the arm. He doesn't have anything really hindering, even with the collared piece on. Um, arms can go up, like I said, down. Um, single bend at the elbow, under 90 degrees. Swivel at the elbow, swivel at the gauntlet, swivel at the wrist. And he does have lateral hinge joints. And he can crunch forward and back, tilt, swivel. He can do the splits. Legs can go forward. Legs can go back a little bit. Upper thigh swivel. He does have a double or a single jointed knee. I almost said double jointed knee. He does have a, also a swivel at the knee as well. And he does have ankle pivot. And he can point the toe. He can point the heely. And he's got two peg holes at the bottom of the feeties. So let's pop this hand off. And then we'll pop this on. Like I said, a much tighter grip or a much tighter peg for these newer style hands. So let's get that in there and pop that over. And now he grips it beautifully. So if you want to have him with that. Um, some of the weapons are a little bit heavier depending on the weapon that you have. A little bit heavier it could cause the wrist to loosen up a little bit over time but um but there you go he can hold that and he can hold his axe just fine you can two-hand the axe as well and then here's the sword i'm just kind of showing the basics of what he can do as far as holding stuff you want to have him just holding the sword, you can do that as well. And that is essentially all of his stuff. I'm going to have him with these new gripping hands, though. I really like these open gripping hands. I don't even think I'm going to give him a weapon, to be honest with you. I just, I really want to have him posed with these wings and stuff. I want him to look like he is a huge threat. So I think, like, having these... These like chains on him and such around his wrists make him look like he's some sort of like scary feral something beast that you don't want to mess with <laughs> you know <laughs> like he's a he's a, a little pet that uh um these vampire this vampire clan is really kind of i don't know maybe experimented with maybe or maybe they're just like a a more f feral version subspecies of the vampires that have not fully evolved yet you know that'll be varg like he doesn't have a conscience he doesn't have he just basically is just you know basing everything on instinct you know all right first up we've got the hasbros right here we've got uh, uh marvel legend uh retro shocker on the left and then on the right we've got the classifieds duke okay next up we've got two neca humanoid i'll just say humanoid looking figures we've got uh the t800 from dark fate on the left and then we've got the phantom on the right okay next up we've got two mcfarlane figures we've got on the right we've got the dc multiverse three jokers red hood and then on the left we've got the malefic spawn from mortal kombat all right, next up, we've got two Articulated Icons Ninjas. We've got the Blue Ninja Deluxe on the left. And then on the right, we've got the Martial Artist. All right, next up, we've got two SH Figure Arts figures. We've got Padme Amidala on the right. And then on the left, we've got the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Black RX. All right, next up, we've got two Motu Classic Bodies. We've got Lino on the left. And then on the right, we've got Hurricane Hordak. Okay, and last up, we've got two other Mythic Legions from the Army Builder Wave. We've got the Gladiator on the left, and then we've got the Dark Templar on the right. And so for my final thoughts on the Varg, I should I should, I should really call them the Varg because they're actually essentially vampire bloodhounds is what they are. <laughs> so you can call him Varg if you're just going to get one figure. Um like I said, army building these, he's a deluxe figure. He costs a little bit more. Um, so if you're on a budget, just call him Varg, and that's good enough. Uh, but 
technically they are the bloodhounds of the uh, vampire clan, um, and they're very good at sniffing out and kind of, you know, finding their prey. Um, mostly, um, I want to say for the figure itself, um, it looks fantastic and I love it. Um, the wings are definitely the major balancing issue of the figure. Um, and this is regardless of whether you put a stand on him or not, it doesn't matter. Um, even if you put him on a flight stand, the wings, they, they're really, they almost weigh themselves out of the peg holes because of gravity pulling them downward. Overall, aesthetically, he's a 10 out of 10. Functionality wise, he's a five out of 10. Um, would I recommend getting him if you're a diehard, like mythic legions collector then yes if not i'd say you could pass on him you definitely don't have to get this and seeing as he's supposed to be a deluxe army builder unless you have liquid funds and you don't have a uh, you know you're not on a budget of any kind then i would say go for it until you're blue in the face but um if you're on a budget i would say pass on this guy and go for some other characters that uh, that also don't take up so much space um it's cool all the stuff he comes with, but I've seen it with other characters. Um, the extra hands are really cool. I like the bare feet. Um, you don't have to use the wings on him if you don't want to. Um, that is an option, but uh, if you're going per the character, he does have wings. So that's another thing. Um, hopefully they go with maybe a lighter plastic in the future, just because of the functionality issues with the, the it, it gives the figure, it causes the figure, excuse me. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.